Thank you for joining me. My name is Laura and I'm one of the Jewel School hosts here. I talk a lot about adding color to our designs, but sometimes you just need your statement like simple black jewelry. And so I went with kind of like a black on black uh, design here with some wacky wraps and then wrapping some of these incredible uh, black spinel nuggets, you guys. I am obsessed with these. I'm probably gonna get a couple strands for myself at both the rondelles and the nuggets just because I love them so much and it's not something that we get super often. Um, I'm also using some of this black or blue steel pair wire, but 20 gauge and 24 gauge. Uh, so I've got a set of wire in the show. I believe we put it in there, um, this pair wire set that comes with those black tone wires. And it, I absolutely love black on black. I like kind of keeping it monotone like that. I just think it's cool and it's not something you see every day, you know, that, that black metal with the black stones. So those are, that's what I'm using um, material wise. Tool wise, I'm going to be using my round nose pliers, my chain nose pliers my flush cutters, six step bail shaping plier to make my ear wires and my handy dandy wire straightener. I'm gonna use a hammer and a bench block for to work hard in my ear wire when I make it. And then I'm gonna use the cut burr end on my reaming tool, my bead reaming tool to round out the end of my ear wire so that it doesn't hurt when, I, when we put it in our ears. Okay. So let's get started. We've kind of done, we've done some similar, some designs that are kind of similar. Um, it's kind of the wacky wrap style that I've talked to you guys about. I've done a couple different demos with the wacky wraps, but I want to show you how to make the loop at the bottom so that you can dangle something down off of the bottom. Um, and really the wacky wrap, you can do it with any shape, any size, what there's nothing that you can't do the wacky wrap with. I've done it with chips i've done it with round beads i've done it with big chunky pearls i mean literally you can do it with anything so i'm going to cut myself a couple feet of this 24 gauge wire here um the more the merrier i say the wackier the better um so the more wire you cut the more wraps you can do and the wackier you can get so I just like to straighten my wire out too with my wire straightener before I cut it off the spool because it's just easier. Um, so I just grab my nylon jawed pliers and I just give this a couple tugs and get it straightened out. Just get any like kind of hard kinks out of the wire. And I'm gonna cut this off. All right, so I got a couple feet, maybe like three feet of this black wire here. I'm going to make a loop kind of at the third mark. So like if I were to bend this into thirds, just roughly bend this into thirds, like this. I'm just gonna pick kind of a point here, like a little more than halfway down. And then we're, we will go in with our round nose pliers and we're gonna make a loop first. And I wanna make a decent sized loop because I'm gonna attach you know, three of these dangles to the bottom here. So we wanna make a pretty decent sized loop. So I will grab a hold with my round nose pliers here. And then we're just gonna make a big loop here and we're gonna close this loop off. We talked some uh, last week about open loops versus closed loops. I want to do some closed loops on here for security because I'm using 24 gauge wire, which is can be, um, it, which is really, uh, not I, what is the word that I'm, is soft and flexible. So for security, I'm going to close my loops with some, just a couple pigtail twists here, like that. And so now I've got a closed loop and I've got a longer piece and a shorter piece. And I'm go we're gonna take our black spinel rondelles and for this earring, I did 11 rondelles. So I'm gonna put 11 of these guys on here, these rondelles, just string them right on here. Okay, so I've got those strung on there, and then we will just take our, our little chain nose pliers and we're just gonna make a little curly cue down here. I'm gonna make myself a little bead stopper. 
on the end of my wire just to make sure that those rondelles don't slide off. So just I'm just gonna bend it over a little bit, make sure I can slide them down on the other end and they're not gonna fall off. So then we are going to slide one spinel down at a time down towards this the end here. Okay, so with that um, spinel pushed up towards my loop, I'm gonna come around with this longer piece of wire and I'm going to, we're gonna wrap it around that other piece of 20, 24 gauge wire just a couple times. Like that. Then we're gonna drop our next one down. Then um, again, wrap with our wire. I wrap like twice, maybe, give or take. And then we're just gonna keep doing this and we're gonna keep moving down our spinel and keep moving down our wire. And see, I'm not worried about getting it super tight. You can see I've got some space there, that's all right. Um, as, we, um, as we continue to wrap, these, this will continue to tighten, but again, it is the wacky wrap, so there is no right or wrong way to do this. So again. Just continuing to wrap, pulling a spinel down in between each one. And you know, this kind of extends the life of your beads too. Um, because we're creating this space in between our spinels, it, uh, we can, we use less spinels to get more length. So we can, if we'll have some extra, you know, to do other things, make a ring, make a bracelet, whatever you want to do. Um, but just continue to drop these down and wrap in between. And I'm just gonna, um, and so sometimes if you're using beads that aren't like really uniform in size and shape, like, like I said that I use 11, but I'm gonna, once I get these 11 wrapped, I'm gonna put it up next to my other earring just to make sure they end up being the same length because not all these rondelles are, you know, exactly the same size. So I could, you know, 11 on one earring could be really different than 11 on another, on the other earring. So I just want to make sure that they end up, you know, looking, they're similar in length, unless you wanted to make asymmetrical earrings and then you can do whatever you want. Just, um, yeah, I think I got room for one more here. They may be a little different, but that's okay. All right, so I got one more spinel to go here. Just give that a couple wraps. Okay, so I've got all these guys wrapped. Now we are going to grab, again with our round nose pliers, we're gonna make another loop. like this. And we're gonna close this loop off. With a couple wraps. And then I'm gonna start coming back up the earring with my wire coming the opposite direction and giving it a couple wraps around my spinel. And then go up around the next spinel, give it a couple wraps around the next spinel, give it a couple wraps. And see how I'm not pulling tight, I'm not, you know, trying to um, make sure my wires are like tucked in real close to my spinel, I am just kind of laying it on there and just letting it kind of do its thing here. And just continue to wrap. And I'm like, I'm doing, 
um, pretty full wraps in between each spinel. Like they're not, uh, I'm probably doing, I'm doing about three or four in between each one just to kind of bulk up that uh, little section beneath this, between the spinel. Also because we are using 24 gauge wire, so it's a little, um, it's more flexible. So that adding those, a bunch of wraps in between each one is gonna um, give us a little extra security there. And then just give it a couple wraps down there at the end by that loop. And we will trim this off with our flush cutters here and then just tuck that tail in. So now you see I've got this other piece of wire here. If I wanted even wackier wraps, I'd go back, I'd bring this back, this wire back up this, um, back up my spinel again and add even more wire and make it even wackier. But since I didn't do that on that, that other pair, I'm just gonna snip this off. But I just wanted to show you guys how you can continue to add, add wraps to your, um, to your earring if you've, got, if you've given yourself some excess wire here. So I'm just gonna trim that off. And then we will tuck our tail in there. Just make sure that I'm, this one's gonna be a little longer, you guys. That's okay. That is all right. Can maybe give it a couple twists, shorten it up a little bit, but that's all right. Okay, so now we've got a wacky wrap stick or post, post, if you will, with loops on both ends. And now we are gonna attach our other, our spinel nuggets, our dangles, um, on the bottom of our little focal piece there. So I'm gonna use 24 gauge wire again. I'm gonna cut a couple pieces of like, a couple three inch pieces of this wire. And again, I just wanna straighten this out especially the end of this wire. When you're working with natural gemstones, as a lot of you probably know, uh, the holes can be not as so uniform. Um, they could be, you know, bigger on one side and smaller on the other side, or they get real small in the middle. So making sure that the end of your wire is really straight is a great way. So if it is like, if you've got kinks at the end of your wire, it's gonna make it a lot harder to get through a uh, small hole or a hole that's uneven. So making sure that you've got that straightened out is gonna make it a lot easier. Um, so I'm gonna cut, like I said, we're gonna cut some th like three inch pieces of wire here with this 26 gauge wire. And then I will take one of my nuggets here and I'm gonna string it on here and just let it fall kind of to the halfway point. And then bend one side up, one side of the wire, bend it up and across that hole right there. Like that. And then I will, we will take that piece of wire and we're just gonna wrap it around that other piece of 26 gauge or 24 gauge wire there. So we're getting a little bit of the wacky wrap style on our nugget here. And then I will just trim this off. Tuck my tail in. And we'll, we'll make a closed loop up here. So I'm gonna grab right above those twists with my round nose pliers. I push forward with my index finger, grab a hold of my, my bead, rotate my pliers up towards the top, to the top, like that. And then I just press down into my finger, give it that little, almost the nape of the neck there. And then roll my hand back towards me so that my wire is pointing back at my chest. And then I'm gonna bring this around at the bottom and now we're ready to attach to the bottom of 
our, our wacky wrap section. So I've, I've just slid that right on there. Um, so I haven't closed my loop yet. So I'm just gonna take this loop and I'm gonna slide it on there like that. And now it's ready for me to close my loop here. So I'm just gonna grab a hold of, I like to grab a hold of both loops if I can, just to stabilize this one. Cause sometimes if it's moving around and uh, you know flipping over to the other side, it gets in your way. It can be kind of annoying and it, you can deform your loops really easily. So I just like to hold on to both with my pliers and just give this a couple wraps down towards the, the spinel nugget. And then I will just trim this off. Tuck my tail in here. So we've got one. And then I've got two more to do. I went ahead and made the loops on these. I'm just gonna attach them and close my loops off. So again, just wrap down towards the nugget. And again, with, same, with this wrap too, I'm not super worried that it's real neat and tidy because this whole earring is kind of, it's just one big giant wacky wrap. So we're gonna carry that theme throughout the whole earring. So I've got two. Now I'm ready for one more. Slide that guy on there like that. And then we're ready to close this loop too. Just grab a hold of that and wrap down towards my spinel. Then we will trim that little wire off and tuck our tail in. And there we go. We've got all three of our dangles on. So now we are ready to make an ear wire. Okay, so I've got my six step bell shaping plier here to make my ear wire. So we're gonna use our smallest little, our smallest step on the this pair of pliers to make the little loop that's gonna attach to our earring. So I just grabbed the very, very tip, the very end of my wire here. Um, it's important to get your pliers down on the very tip of that wire. The, if you leave yourself a gap like that, you're going to end up with more of an oval shape than a round shape. And it's really hard to do that exactly the same twice. To help yourself get really even Ear wires, you can either two together or a bunch together. I think it's kind of hard to hold on to the two pieces of wire. So I just, I give myself the opportunity to do them individually by doing, making it as easy um, and as straightforward and uniform as possible. So one way to do that is to grab the very tip of your wire here. And then we're just gonna, whoop, it's too much on the tip. Okay, then we're just gonna roll our pliers and make a little loop here like that. Then I'm going to flip these guys over and I'm gonna grab right above my that loop that I made and I'm gonna be using the biggest step here. And I've got my loop, it's pushed up real tight underneath there and then I'm just gonna push this around my biggest step here and then I just give it a little swoop around the back with my finger like that. And then we are just gonna trim that up. Okay, so we're just, I just wanna work hard in this a little bit. I'm not gonna go crazy because I don't wanna, t I don't wanna take any of the black off of my wire here, but I'm, see how like it's not flat at all. Uh, I just wanna flatten this out a little bit and make sure it's nice and sturdy so that I don't mess it up when I'm putting it in my ear. We always want to work hard in our ear wires. No matter what we're doing, no matter what we're using, you want to work hard in your ear wires because uh, it's very, very easy to deform them when you're putting your ear when you're putting your ear in, <sighs> earring in your ear. That was a mouthful. Okay, so I am going to just soften up the end of this 
ear wire with my cut burr here. Just round it out with my reaming tool. Make sure that I don't have any real sharp points. If you have a file, you can do this with a file. Um, I think it's a little easier to do it with this cut burr, but whatever, you, um, whatever you've got to soften this up, it's definitely something that you must do, especially if you are selling your jewelry. You do not want to give someone earrings with ear wires that are going to make their ears bleed when they put them on. Um, so definitely do not, that is a step you do not want to forget. Um, okay, so then we're going to just open this guy up with our chain nose pliers. So that little loop I made up there, we're going to open that up and we just slide that loop on right there. And then we're going to close them back up. And that is all there is to this pair of earrings. I think this one's going to be a just a little bit, oh, it's not, it actually turned out pretty similar. I thought one was going to be way longer than the other, but I, they came out pretty, they, they lined up pretty nicely. Again, thank you guys for joining me. Thank you. Um, if you're new, thank you for coming and checking us out, and I hope you come back next time. Mm -hmm.